Hello everyone. Today we are going to see an interesting software called Ryan. It is an online portal which helps us to manage our systematic review. It helps us to import the literature which we have downloaded from our literature databases and helps us to apply our inclusion exclusion criteria so that we can get the final number of articles which we have to include in our systematic review. So with this brief introduction, let us see how to first export uh, our search results from PubMed, Embase, etc. and how to import them into Raya. So first I am going to go to PubMed and conduct a simple search strategy. Mokles Tobacco as a mesh term and add to history. A combination of one and two. So I am interested in smokeless tobacco and laryngeal cancer. So there are 23 results. I am going to click on these 23. Click on send to citation manager. All results create file. So the file that you see here contains the 23 articles that PubMed gave us and it is called an NBIP file. So keep it aside for the time being. Let us go to NBase, do the same thing. Smoke less tobacco. And let it go answer. So there are 47 results here. So these 47 results I'm going to export. Select all 47. Export. Here you can choose the risk format. Export. If the number of results are more, it will take some time to uh, repair the download. But once it is done, you can click the download button. After doing that, you have come. You have to come to Diane. So since I already have an account, I am going to go ahead and sign into my Ryan account. If you do not have an account, you have to uh, register with Ryan and once you are done with that, you can enter your email ID and password and you can sign in. So once I sign into Ryan, uh, you can see here my previous reviews listed. But if you are new to Ryan, there will be nothing here and there will be uh, zero entered everywhere. Since I already have some reviews in my Ryan account, it is populated here. So you have to click on the new review button here. Once you click the new review, I'm going to type here demo review more plus tobacco. The search field medicine and human health review type systematic review, review domain biomedical. If you want to give some description, you can write it here. This is a review. About the association between smokeless tobacco and laryngeal cancer and click create. So, this is how you create a new review with Ryan. After you have created your new review, the next thing would be to import the bibliographic files which we downloaded from PubMed and Embase. So here you can see a select files button through which you can import the files from PubMed and Embase. Here you can see some of the formats which you can import literature into Ryan. So EndNote, RIS, BibTeX, CSV, PubMed, New PubMed Format, Web of Science Format, etc. Additionally, you can also uh, import uh, in your own uh, style which is given in this text and word file. Okay, so now I have downloaded two files, PubMed and Embase. I will show you those files. So these are the two files which I have downloaded previously, one from PubMed and one from Embase. Now we will see how to import them into Raya. Click on select files and go to the folder where you have saved your bibliographic file. First I am importing PubMed. 
once it is done I'm going to click it again select pub mbase so now pubmed as well as mbase are uploaded click on continue now you can see that 23 results from one and the 47 results from the other are now included into Tayan. These are the menus on the left hand side pane. These are the articles which have been downloaded. And if you click each article, you will get the abstract here. So the abstract is available here and other information about the article is available here. So this is how you import the bibliographic files into Diane. Let us have a quick walk through, uh, through the different options available in Diane. So on the left hand side, you can see the inclusion decisions. So currently there are 70 articles which are undecided, zero in maybe, zero in included and zero in excluded. As we make our decisions here, these numbers will change. And we can see here that PubMed has 23 articles and from Embase we got 47 articles. And these are some of the keywords which automatically Ryan populates for inclusion. These are some of the keywords for exclusion. You can delete these keywords and you can add your own keywords according to your own inclusion exclusion criteria. So the number against each keyword is the number of articles with those matching term. So there are eight articles which has the word compared with. There are eight articles which have the word case control, etc. If you come down, these are the major topics. These are the major locations from which we got the results. These, uh, these are the major languages. These are the major publication types, journals, authors, and year of publication. So this is some of the information that you can gather from the 70 articles that we have imported into Ryan. Next, on the right hand side, there are a couple of options at the top, direct duplicates, compute ratings, export, copy, new search, all reviews. So all reviews takes you back to the main menu of Rayon. New search, if you want to add uh, one more literature uh, source, you have to click on new search and add one more file. Uh, these are the different articles which are so shown in a list type. And once you click on each article, uh, the abstract will be shown below. And here you can see the three decisions that we can give to each article include maybe or exclude reason for exclusion if there is any need to give labels to any articles you can add your labels you can add notes and you can upload pdf full text now the use of this highlight button is uh, based on these keywords you can quickly include or exclude certain articles okay so for example if it is a randomized controlled trial it will be highlighted here as randomized control trial. In that case, you can quickly include and uh, this and move on to the next article. So if you want to keep these highlights, you can keep it like this. Or if you want to switch it off, you can click it uh, like this and the highlights will go up. So this helps you to quickly uh, include or exclude a particular article. The first thing that you need to do after importing literature into Ryan is to detect duplicates. So by clicking this button, at the top detect duplicates uh, Ryan will automatically try to detect duplicates uh, between the different sources of uh, literature since we have added literature from two different sources there is a possibility that some articles might be present in both the databases so uh, in this example we have detected six duplicates you can see here possible duplicates unresolved six so in order to resolve the duplicates you have to click on the unresolved uh, button. Once you come there, you can see here these are the six articles which Ryan thinks are possible duplicates. So once you click on a particular article, you have to click on this button at the bottom which says resolve duplicate. So once you click the resolve duplicate button, you have to scroll down and see whether this article which is published in International Journal of Cancer volume 121 is the same as this article which is also published in International Journal of Cancer, Volume 121. So this seems like an exact copy of this article at the bottom. So we can keep one and delete the other. If you think it is not a duplicate, you can click not duplicate and Ryan will keep both of them. So for this article, I'm going to click 
deleted. So one will be deleted and the other will be kept. Now you can see the result is turned to 4, deleted 1 and resolved 1. Like this you have to click each article, click resolve duplicate, look at the first article, site specific tumor of uh, effect of tumor addiction, uh, retrospective clinical pathological study. It seems the exact copy of this. So I am going to delete it. Next, resolve duplicate. A retrospective clinical pathological study. Next one, resolve duplicate. Smokeless tobacco and cancer. This does not look like a duplicate, so I'm not saying not duplicate. I'm saying not duplicate. And the last one is not a duplicate. So now we can see that initially we had six as unresolved. Now unresolved is zero. We deleted two. We said one is not duplicate, and the three are folded. So in this way, you can detect duplicates and resolve them manually. The next thing that you can do in Rayan is uh, prepare keywords for inclusion and exclusion. I told you previously that these are uh, some, some of the default keywords that Rayan has populated for inclusion and keywords for exclusion. You can either keep them or delete them depending upon your requirements. But for the current example that I'm taking, I want to delete some keywords because they are my inclusion criteria because I am looking at the case control study. So I am deleting some of the keywords which are not useful to you and I am also deleting some of the include keywords. I want to add some include keywords like smokeless tobacco okay. Fine. and then I want to add one exclusion keyword which says cigarette. So I am not interested in anything that is related to cigarette. I am not interested in anything which is related to DD. Say so let's say. So let me add one more keyword for include. I am interested in case control studies. I am interested in cohort studies. I am interested in surveys. So the Decision to include certain keywords here or here depends upon your inclusion exclusion criteria. So go through your inclusion and exclusion criteria and try to pick some keywords that you would like to see highlighted when you are reading the article. So here let me go to the 70 undecided articles. will take a few seconds if there is any additional filter that you have applied it will take some time so here we had clicked the unresolved filter that is why it was not showing after removing the unresolved filter it is now showing so this uh, orange shading tells us which of the uh, filters are applied. So make sure that none of the filters are applied. Once we have clicked on the undecided 70, I am going to click on each article. So now you can see that some words are highlighted in green and some words are highlighted in red. This highlighting is dependent on what is available in this keyword list. So if a word matches this include keyword list, it will be highlighted in green. If a keyword matches this exclude keyword list, it will be highlighted in red. You can either keep it or you can remove it by clicking on highlights on. Usually it is a good idea to keep the highlights on because it will immediately tell me whether I have to include or exclude this article. So based on this highlighting pattern, I am going to include this article. So here you can see my name is appearing here and the decision that I have given is in green which means I have included this article. The second article I don't want to include because it seems like a clinical pathological study and I cannot see any highlight which I require. So I am going to exclude it. Here you can see an excluded decision is made and it appears in red. You can also simultaneously see that here the undecided is now reduced to 68. We have included one, excluded one. Sometimes when you are in doubt, when you don't know whether to include or exclude an article, and if you want a second opinion or the third reviewer has to uh, chip in and say whether it is important or not, you can keep it under 
maybe. Okay, so here maybe appears as y2. Now, when you are making an exclude decision, it is a good idea to give the reason for exclusion. Okay, you need not give reasons for inclusion, uh, but when you are excluding a, an article, you need to give a reason. So, in that case, for all the articles which are excluded, I am going to add a, a possible exclusion reason. Here, some of the default reasons are given. For example, this is a background article which I don't want to include in my systematic review. Let's say I am excluding this article and foreign language or wrong drug or wrong outcome is a possible reason. You can also add your own reasons by simply typing in. You can, you can type it in very uh, short descriptive words say pathology. This is not an epidemiological study, this is only a clinical uh, pathological study so I don't want to include it. So you can add your own uh, exclusion reasons. If you want to give uh, labels to particular articles that can also be done. For example, this article I want to discuss with supervisor, something like that. You can also label, labels appear in blue and eventually uh, they will appear here and if you have collected a bunch of articles for discuss with supervisor, you can directly click this label and all these articles which are labeled with discuss with supervisor will be uh, available to you for discussion. So this is how you uh, decide whether to include a study, put a study under maybe or exclude a study, give reason for exclusion or give a label for a study which you want to uh, use for a uh, later, uh, uh, which you want to use later. So you must remember that uh, literature screening or literature uh, going through the literature for inclusion exclusion should be done by two reviewers preferably in a systematic review. So far we have added only one person to this review which is the owner which is myself. Now I have to add one more person or one more author into this project so that he or she can also review the uh, same articles and provide the decisions for inclusion or exclusion. How to do that? Here you can see uh, the invite button and the home screen of the particular review. So you click on invite, just a minute. So if you are in this page, you have to click on all reviews and it will take you to the home page. And under the review that you are interested in, there is an invite button. So click on the invite button and it will ask you what is the role of this person. So you have to put as collaborator only then they will be having equal rights. So I am going to enter the email of my friend who is going to collaborate with me on this project. So I just type a message. And click on invite. So now an email will be sent to this person saying that you have been added to this particular review in Ryan. Kindly go and open the review. Now, if that person opens the email and clicks, it will be taken to this page. So in this page, you have to enter the email ID and password and click on sign. If the person who you are adding does not have a Ryan account, uh, she or he will be asked to create an account. You have to come to this page and click this sign up button. Once you click the sign up button, it will ask you for your email ID, country, etc. And it will ask you to agree to the terms and conditions of Ryan. Once you agree, an email will be sent to confirm your account. On clicking that email link, you will be taken to a page where you will set the password. And once the password is set, you will be logged in. So I have done all of that. And therefore, I am uh, coming to this page and I am going to click sign in. So once this person signs in, uh, he or she will be able to see the review only under this page which is called the collaboration reviews. And you can see the same uh, review which we created in my main account demo review underscore SLT has appeared here. On clicking this they will be able to see what has been done so far, who is the owner and it will be listed, uh, her name will be listed under collaborators. You can click on show and start the screening process for yourself. Now you are able to uh, see that uh, previously uh, we saw the tags and the reasons given in my main account but here we are not able to see anything because blind is on which means that the decisions of one author are not visible to the decisions of the other authors. 
So this, uh, the power to remove this blind uh, rests with the owner of the review. So I will show you subsequently how to remove the blind for the sake of teaching. But for the time being, you please remember that whenever blind is on, you cannot see the decision of the other author. So here for you, the 68 articles are undecided and there is nothing in may be included or excluded. So this person can make the decision according to her understanding. So let us say she is able to do this sort of. So for all the excluded articles, we have to give some reason for exclusion and the maybes can be discussed later. So let us assume that this person has completed the uh, screening process and she has made her decision on inclusion and exclusion. Now, uh, this is how two reviewers independently and also can uh, do the screening simultaneously for a given review. There is also an option here to chat. So these two people, when they are logged into their account, they can chat simultaneously to clarify any doubts or things like that. So now I have come back to my original account. I am the owner of the review and I am going to see how is the uh, review progressing. I just want to check the progress of my review. So here you will get a nice pie chart telling you the uh, summary, how many are screened, how many are undecided. So the gray box tells you, the gray uh, part of the pie chart tells you how many articles are yet to be screened. And it will also give a breakup by the authors that are involved. So I have to screen 64 articles and uh, Dr. Jayashree has to screen around 60 articles. So she is slightly ahead of me. So this is how you can uh, see the progress of your review. Now I told you that only the owner has the power to remove the blinding, right? So here you can see the blind on button. If I click on this, I can remove the blinding. Now the other person and uh, all the authors in the review can see the decisions of the other authors. It is generally not advisable, but just for the sake of teaching, I am showing you how to remove the blind off on. If I go to this review, you can now see the decisions of the two authors. You can have many people uh, in this uh, chain, but usually we recommend only two or at least uh, or not more than three because it will create more confusion. So to keep your review uh, clean, you can have one owner and two collaborators. As an owner, you can uh, supervise, monitor and do things like that, whereas the collaborators will be the actual people who will be doing the inclusion exclusion. So you can see uh, if both the authors have agreed, we can see both are green. But sometimes what happens is one author is including and the other author is excluding. This is called a conflict. And sometimes both are maybe and sometimes both have excluded. So this conflict has to be resolved by the owner only. So if you click on the conflict, the one article where the two authors disagreed is showing. Now it is up to the owner to take a decision to either include or exclude this article. Okay. Since I am the owner, uh, my decision I will consider as final and I will exclude this article. Okay. So depending upon the different uh, power structure that you are creating in the review, you will have several options to uh, manage your review. This is called uh, the conflict resolution where uh, in, uh, when, uh, where the collaborators disagree on a particular article and you have the chance to go through the uh, abstract again or if possible you can uh, go through the full text as well and take a call on whether to include this article or not. So now imagine that we have uh, completed the review, we have decided whether to include or exclude for all the articles. This stage is called title slash abstract screening where we are only looking at the title of the article and the abstract and we are quickly deciding whether to include or exclude an article. The next stage would be to uh, do a full text screening. So imagine that out of the 68 articles we had initially, we have included only three articles. Now these three articles have to be uh, taken up for the next stage which is called full text screening. So how to do that? To go back to all reviews which takes you to the main page of Ryan and we will create a new review. Okay. In this new review we will put full text screening of our SLT. Okay. Same research field, research type, domain 
and you can put full text review on demo create and leave it for the time being okay now we go to list all reviews we come back to our original demo review click on show and now we included articles into the new review we have created okay so before we do that i want you to understand one thing so by clicking on each item in the left hand pane you are actually applying a filter so make sure that uh, multiple filters are not applied see now i have applied deleted included dr kadresh jayashree and at least zero so there is no matching criteria and therefore it is empty so make sure that you don't commit that mistake you only click those filters which you are currently interested in make sure that none of the filters are selected and here you come to select the included three articles so i am going to copy these three included abstracts for my full text screening so i am going to copy so it is asking me do you want to copy all the 68 or do you want to only copy the filtered three i want the one, i i only want the filtered three so i am going to click this target review full text slt and i am going to copy so what ryan is doing is it is copying these three articles to the uh, full text review close this it will take some time to copy you can go to all reviews and check whether it has copied or not so here you can see the full text slt now has three articles inside it now you can go to this full text review and you can see the three articles which are now available to you so how to do the full text screening once you click on this you have a button here called upload pdf full text so you click on this click on add pdf file let us say that you have some pdf lying around let us say there is this pdf which you want to add and that pdf will be added and you can read that pdf and make a decision on whether to include or exclude that article so that will be the full text screen here you can see the pdf once this pdf is uploaded it will be available to all the collaborators so everyone need not add their own pdfs only the owner needs to add the pdf and the collaborators will be able to see the pdf if you click this it will open in a separate tab you can read the article the full text of the article you can uh, make a decision on whether to include or exclude once a decision is made you come here and you say i want to include this once a decision is made you say click you click and exclude so finally now we have included two articles out of a total of 68 articles in this systematic review so now we have seen uh, how to include exclude articles using ryan so that was the complete overview of ryan uh, in a brief manner if you want more help or if you are stuck somewhere and you need help you can always go to ryan's uh, help page which you can access by clicking the help button which is available here or you can click your username go to visit help center and in this help center you can find faqs you can find how to guides and you can uh, join the community for conversations and doubt clarification uh, let me briefly summarize uh, what we have seen so far so we have seen how to download the bibliographic files from pubmed or mbase and uh, keep them ready before we start using ryan then we saw how to sign into ryan how to create an account in ryan then we saw how to create a new review then we saw how to import uh, the reference files which we downloaded from pubmed and mbase into ryan then we saw the uh, interface of ryan the left hand pane the right hand pane the options available etc then we saw how to uh, resolve duplicates which is the first step before you start screening then we saw how to add uh, inclusion exclusion terms which will highlight in our uh, abstract so that we can quickly make decisions on whether to include or exclude a particular article then we saw how the filters work on the left hand pane 
if you apply a certain filter only those articles which are matching that criteria will be displayed once you remove the filter all the articles will be displayed then we saw how to make decisions include exclude or maybe then we saw how to add reasons for exclusion then we saw how to add labels for convenience so if you want a bunch of articles to be discussed later we saw how to uh, label them you can add several other labels as per your requirements then we saw how to invite collaborators because systematic review has to be done by at least two people uh, we saw how to invite one more person to the review and how two people simultaneously and independently make the decisions about inclusion exclusion then we saw how a collaborator can view as opposed to how a owner can view and what are the options available then we saw the blinding option and conflicts so the blinding option can be removed only by the owner and this is usually not a good idea but just for the sake of learning i showed you uh, where the different authors can see the decisions of the other authors and then we saw conflict conflict means where one author has included an article the other authors are excluded the article how many such articles are there and what is the final decision of the third author then we saw how to uh, copy those included articles from abstract title screening to the full text screening uh, to a new review then we saw how to upload the full text adding pdf to the uh, finally included articles and we saw how to uh, go through the full text and make a final decision on inclusion or exclusion and finally we saw how to access help for raya if you are stuck somewhere if you have any doubt if you are not able to proceed you can go to the community center for raya and access the help files i hope this has been a brief and comprehensive introduction into raya uh, if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer thank you